Uh, 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 That's all I prepared. Thank you for listening. Well, let's test it. I'm not the pilot. 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 마이크 없어도 돼? 어? 어? 마이크 할 거거든? 들어봐 응? 어 아. 마이크 할 거로 해? 아아 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 올려 올렸다고 아아 할게요 Hello, my name is 현성노 and the the topic of my presentation is about biotechnology researcher, a hero who saves the world. The manuscript summary is like this. The table of contents consists of three parts, biotechnology, my dream, and my learn model. First topic, what is a biotechnology? The definition of biotechnology is a field of study that investigates the principles of the activities of living organisms and applies them beneficially to humans. Biotechnology contributes to society in various fields. First, gene therapy. Gene therapy has revolutionized the gene therapy has revolutionized the medical field by improving the prevention and treatment of genetic diseases. Second, genetic engineering technology. 
we can use this technology to improve pro plant productivity and solve food shortages. Third, new drugs. We use biotechnology to develop new drugs and support the develop of we <sighs> we use biotechnology to develop new drugs and support the prevention of various diseases. First, DNA analysis. DNA analysis is used to identify criminals. It plays an important role in criminal investigations and contributes to improving public safety. These examples demonstrate the positive impacts of biotechnology in different areas of society. Second topic, my dream. My dream is to become a biotechnology researcher. A biotechnology researcher is a profession that studies biotechnology, developing new drugs, and conducting many research. I have been interested in our bodies since childhood. I wondered what would happen to our bodies while we were alive. While learning about the human body during science class, I began to develop an interest in life science. And along with the desire to directly study our bodies, <clears throat> I, I am dreaming of becoming a biotechnology researcher. Today, there are many people suffering from incurable diseases that are difficult to treat with current medical technologies. My heart touched a lot as I read stories of many incurable patients in various media. So I decided to become a biotechnology researcher who studies incurable diseases and develops drugs and technologies that can treat them. I want to be someone who works for someone else. I think this is what biotechnology researcher should aspire to. Third topic, my role model. My role model is Dr. Nguyen Han, who is the founder of Yuan Corporation. During the period of Japanese occupation, Korea suffered from a shortage of medicines and many people died of illness. Dr. Nguyen Han was shook to see the full health situ situation in Korea so he abandoned the business he was originally doing in the United States and returned to Korea. He thought that there is a limit to improving the prevention because they by relying on only on the imported medicines. So he began to manufacture medicines directly. Concluding the presentation, I would like to imitate the point that Dr. Nguyen Han worked for society rather than his own profit. Like him, who worked hard to popularize medicines, I will continue to study biotechnology for everyone. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Wow, get tired. Four minutes, four minutes. Wow, get tired. Four minutes. Four minutes. Why are you doing this? 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 빠르니까 내가 거기 조금 좀 수준 여유 괜찮은 방조라 아니면 네가 거기 강조하고 싶은 분이 아니면 빨리 어차피 못할 강조 보고 싶어 아니 여기 물론 무슨 물론 무슨 물론 무슨 물론 무슨 Ah, 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 ah. Okay, ah. Okay, let's go. Oh.
Hello everyone, I'm Taewon Kim and today I will present you about energy crisis and effective solutions for our sustainable future. This is my brief summary. Have you ever imagined a world without electricity? Today, the electricity is one of the most important things in our life. By electricity, you can use electronic devices such as smartphones and computers. However, as the electricity has become the most common thing, we are now too much indifferent to its waste. But the energy crisis is a very serious issue and we should take action to prevent the energy crisis. First, and turning down air conditioner uses is a great way to save energy. During the summer, we use air conditioner most of the time and usually lower the temperature. However, this will use so much energy and contribute to an energy crisis. So then, just simply raise the temperature of your air conditioner by at least 1 degree Celsius and you can save up to 4.7% of the energy. This might, seem, this might seem to be just like a small thing and uncomfortable, but this small change can change the world. Next, you should check energy consumption efficiency grade when buying new electronics. The Korean government has started this policy since 1992. The government measures the, electronic, the, the electricity uses and, and rates them in grades 1 to 5. A lower number means that the electric, elect, electronics use less energy than others do. According to research, the, the energy consumption difference between grades 1 and 5 is, is as much as 40%. That means if you buy good one products, uh, you can save a lot of energy. Your choice has the your choice has the power to change the world. Lastly, change your lights to LED lights. Unlike previous lights, in LED lights the electricity is directly converted to light, so there is minimal energy loss. That means the LED lights are excellently efficient than any other lights. If you use LED lights, you can save energy up to 50% more than fluorescent light and 80% more than incandescent light. Not even that, if you use LED, its lifespan is 50 times longer than normal lights. You don't have to replace it often. So that means you can save money, you can, and also you can reduce waste and save the environment. To sum up, the energy crisis has become one of the most serious issues in the world. And unfortunately, it's getting worse year by year. As we are global citizens, it is our duty to save the world and, and keep the environment sustainable. Please remember three things to save the energy that I explained today. And <clears throat> with everyone's participation, we can make the world a better place. Thank you so much. Huh? Fossil
빨리 빨리 넘어가 여기 빨리 넘어가 야 빨리 진짜 안 되겠다 내 애들은 모를까 <웃음> 모르겠지 그래서 먼저 그렇지 빨리 하고 넘어가야 돼 그래서 다음 누가? 다음 할게라 나할게 나 진짜 이상한이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이
Next to this list, the leaders and future society of show us that. So, how can we handle this list better? I think it is the only two disasters to change. The one has changed. A few hundred years ago, oh, a few hundred years ago, domestic aircraft were much less. The most casual of the watch test and super watches were every second of our work. At least most of this change. Later, need to. <laughs> First of all, I think a society for profit in any way, it is a kind of enterprise. Because the four major elements of company are capital, label, land, and management. For, and society, for example, is a country that has so capital called the national power, labor called the paper, land called the territory, and management called the politics. So they were formed to first profit. So let me ask you a question. Do you think this company is lost? My answer is no. Risk is not just a loss, it is uncertainty. Risk is an imbalance between profit and loss. <laughs> if you risk, uh, I know, I think, uh, I think, do you know the word high risk, high return? But you may not know the nature of this word. High risk, high return means that high return should be required when, in when investing in high risk areas. If your best friend and I borrow money from you, your best friend's interest rate is 
going to be lower, and I'm going to be charging a high interest rate, high glass interest rate than your fan. Same goes for Sasaya. あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そうですね。あ、そ
as I dream of becoming a teacher, a penciler's con contribution to Korean students and his, and his spirit of sacrifice taught me a lesson. Today, I have talked about a penciler, an English teacher in Joseon, and a paragon of educator. And that's all I prepared. Thank you for listening. Uh, hello, my name is Kim jong hui Today, I will talk about their problems related to global warming and solutions to them. And this is my summary of my presentation. First, what is global warming? In Korean dictionary, it defines the global warming as the rise of the Earth's temperature. Then, why should we be alert of rising global temperatures? If the temperature rises constantly, many, pro many problems arise such as melting glacier. And many problems are already becoming a reality. For example, there was a forest fire in Australia in 2019. It made a very big fire. And the fire made the hail whose size as the golf ball. And the hail made the flu. As a result, the land larger than the land mass of Korea was burned down. And the property damage is estimated to be about 80 trillion won. However, these are not all the damage that Australian bush fire have caused. The outbreak of a swarm of grasshoppers in Africa and the food damage in East Asia were also caused by Australian bush fires. Such catastrophe should never happen again. Then, what can we do about it to prevent such happens? First, I'll tell you about the things that you can do on a personal level. You can turn off the lights or unplug outlets that are not in use. This is due to the standby power, which is to supply electricity to the main components in case the next power is turned down. Also, you can reduce the food amount in the refrigerator. This is because it takes less energy when the food amount in the refrigerator is small. And you can reduce energy by using air conditioners and fans simultaneously, so that fans can efficiently disperse air conditioner winds. Lastly, using products with high energy efficiency could be a good idea. Next, I'll tell you the solution plan. The most urgent thing is the war. Last year, methane gas was released from the Baltic gas pipeline. To my surprise, the estimated emission was 500,000 tons. This is not all. Most military weapons and equipment use fossil fuel and the fuel efficiency is very low. This gives us more reasons that we that the war must end quickly. Furthermore, many countries have to sign a climate agreement. By signing climate agreements such as Kyoto Protocol and Paris Agreements, you can create coercion and get a sense of responsibility. This applies not only to the country, but also to enterprises. Businesses must also engage in carbon neutrality with environmental responsibility. At least, they should keep their plans. Today, we are trying to control global warming. However, some are contaminating environments by throwing away trash carelessly, turning on the lights and going out, and re not recycling properly, like one bad apple spoils a bunch. A person can make a big mistake. Then, we should save energy in our daily lives. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you.
이거 이거는 아까 그 어, 어, 어. 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 Today, I'd like to talk about a topic that's very close to my heart, my dream. In today's world, in today's world, we often hear a lot of distressing news. It's been over a year since Russia and Ukraine became stuck in a war. People from both countries are facing the uncertain reality of a conflict that could end at any moment. Recently, as the conflict between Israel and Hamas has erupted, innocent victims have been created in the Gaza Strip. Rather than showing any signs of coming down, this conflict appears to be expanding and deadly. Moreover, we are witnessing unusual climate changes affecting the entire world. Natural disasters have led to countless lives lost in many countries. The issue of global warming is becoming more severe, and unfortunately, there is no guarantee it will improve. Amidst the challenging times, many countries are more becoming divided conflict and conflict-ridden. South Korea is no exception. Conflicts can be easily found everywhere. Including between social classes, rich and poor, men and women, and generation, etc. However, in spite of these challenges, I hold on to my dream. I have a dream: the society where people trust and cooperate to solve social issues. As we build this bridge of trust, we pave the way for a future. Where differences become strengths, not obstacles. However, as we know, this is not an easy task. It may not come true within my lifetime or even during the course of humanity. Yet, when I think about martial runners, I find inspiration. They do not solely focus on the finish line in front of them. Instead, they pour their effort into their each steps, driven by a goal that transcends a physical marker. I aspire to learn like them, to keep running towards my dream, even if the finish line isn't visible, and I don't know when I cross it. So I ask you to stay with me until the end, supporting me along the way. So, I take the first step towards my dream. I'm reminded of the. Can achieve greatly. Despite the uncertainty, I'm determined to embrace challenges. I'm committed to never giving up on my dream, and I'll continue this journey in silence. <laughs> This journey won't be a sprint. There will be stumbles, moments of doubt, and even the tours that lead us off the beaten path. But just like the marathon runners learn from their mistakes and adjust their pace, we can learn from our mistakes, pick ourselves up, and keep moving forward. So, let's go. Let's join this journey. Let's be the generation that chooses we over me. The generation that paints the world with the vibrant colors of cooperation and understanding. Remember, it's not about reaching the finish line first, but about reaching it together. Together, we can be a society where. The hope is the banner we carry 
and the trust is a track that leads us unity. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Let me briefly introduce myself. I'm Sang Won Jun from the Daewon High School, which has a lot of nice students. The presentation will focus on addressing our growing environmental concerns, pathways to sustainable solutions. Before beginning my presentation, this is my summary to help your understanding. Today, I'll tell you about an issue that has become increasingly urgent and cannot be ignored any longer in our environment. It is no secret that our planet is facing a multitude of environmental challenges from climate change and destruction of the forest, to pollution and loss of biological diversity. These issues threaten not only the delicate balance of our ecosystems, but also the very well-being of current and future generations. However, amid these challenges, there exists a ray of hope, a pathway to a sustainable solution that can lead us to a healthier planet, and advance, I say, the state of our environment. Rising global temperatures are causing glaciers to melt, sea levels to rise, and extreme weather events to become more frequent and severe. Destruction of the forest is robbing us of crucial carbon sinks and biologically diverse, rich habitats. Pollution, whether it's in the form of air, water, or soil, with the process of making something dirty or toxic, causes direct threats to human health and ecosystems. The loss of biological diversity further disrupts the complicated web of life that sustain us all. We need to embrace sustainable solutions to pave the way for <coughs> we need to embrace sustainable solutions to address these real environmental issues. I'd like to talk about some urgent things we need to do now. Firstly, is renewable energy transition. One of the most impactful ways to fight climate change is through a shift towards renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water power. Investing in and encouraging these technologies will reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and significantly decrease greenhouse gas emissions. Secondly, a secure the economy. Transitioning to the economy model, where the resources are used efficiently and waste is minimized, can reduce, burn, can reduce pollution and elevate the burden of our environment. This involves rethinking how we produce, consume, and dispose of goods. Last but not least, there is education and advocacy. Raising awareness about environmental issues and encouraging sustainable practices among individuals, communities, and businesses can lead to significant behavioral changes and create a culture of environmental stewardship. In conclusion, let me sum up my points. The environmental challenges we face demand immediate attention and action. However, rather than being overwhelmed, we should view these challenges as opportunities for innovation and collaboration. By embracing sustainable solutions, we can pave a way for a brighter and healthier future for ourselves and generations to come. It is a responsibility we owe to our planet, to each other, and to the diverse life forms that call the earth their home. Let us work hand in hand across borders and boundaries to create a world where environmental harmony and human progress coexist. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much for paying attention.
2024년도 병원 영어 말하기 대회를 시작할 건데요. 1, 2학년 교실에 박반 학생 2명씩 방청을 내려와야 되는데 아직 안온 학생들이 있거든요. 지금 내려 보내주시기 바랍니다. 미르 나래실로 박반에서 2명씩 영어 말하기 대회 방청 학생 지금 내려 보내주세요. 방송할 때는 여기로 말을 네, 말을 해야 쪽으로 아, 그래? 선생님 뭐 중요한 말씀하실 때도 지금 말해도 돼? 네 그럼, 그럼 나도 사회를 볼때 이걸로 해도 되나? 병여사 하고 할때 교장 선생님 말씀하시고 네? 그러니까 앞에 말씀하실 때 그거 추천해 앞에 말씀하실 때 말씀 예 갈배고 시작하시면 될거 시작하면 될까요? 말, 네. 말, 말, 저, 말씀하실 때도 이거 이걸로 하셔야 되나? 되죠 네. 이거 하지 말고? 아, 두개다 해야 돼두개다 해야 돼? 꽂아주세요. 꽂아줘. 내가 내가 알아서 할게 그러면. 그 마이크가 이쪽으로 하면. 이거 두개 다. 오케이. 어디다가? 여기 요쯤? 여기 쯤? 잠깐만. 오케이. 나 금방 뽑을 거라서 교장생 말씀 금방 하실 거거든. 아, 교장생 말씀하실 때도 이거. 잘할게. 네가 좀 해줘라. 시작해도 되겠지, 되겠지. 시작해도 되겠지. 
네, 안녕하세요. 지금부터 2023학년도 대원 영어 말하기 대회를 시작하겠습니다. 네. 네, 먼저 교장 선생님 격려의 말씀이 있겠습니다. 선생님, 이거 마이크. 선생님, 이거 이거 직접 켜셔야 돼. 이거 이걸 해야지 라이브 방송이 마이크 나가지고. 여기 좀. 네. 안녕하세요. 오늘이 날씨가 제일 추운 날이라 그러는데 여기 발표하는 열한 명이 열한 명이 있는데 굉장히 떨리기도 하는데 날씨까지 추워갖고 원래 자기가 갖고 있는 역량을 다 발휘할 수 있을지 잘안 돼요. 음, 걱정이 됩니다. 하여간 떨지 말고 자기가 갖고 있는 그러한 준비한 원고 내용을 암기해서 하는 거고 자막으로 좀 보여줄 거지만 경청하는 사람들이 잘 들어야 됩니다. 경청이 제대로 안 되면 이 발표자가 더 긴장을 하게 되어 있습니다. 그래. 지금 해를 거듭할수록 영어 말하기 대회가 점점 업그레이드 되고 있는데 더 좋은 실력자들이 나타나서 아 대원고등학교도 대원국제 중 대원외고 못지않게 영어에 대한 관심 있는 학생들도 많고 또 어디에 가서도 손색이 없는 그러한 학생들이다라는 것을 보여줬으면 좋겠습니다. 오늘 추운데 고생 많이 하겠습니다. 떨지 말고 파이팅! 잠깐만 또 쓸게요. 네. <웃음> 오늘 심사위원은 영어과의 이종현 선생님과 강성호 선생님께서 맡아주시겠습니다. <웃음> 어, 대회 진행 순서는 1학년 먼저 5명 발표하고 2학년 6명 발표하는 걸로 할 건데요. 어, 순서가 1학년 장재영, 전상훈, 김정욱, 안유원, 박준혁 하고 바로 이어서 2학년 박서준, 노연석, 김태원, 김민석, 김동희, 이현루 학생의 순서로 그렇게 진행을 하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 맨 처음 발표할 학생 준비해 주세요. from Daewon High School and today I'm going to talk about the solution to reduce plastic waste. Before we talk about it, I'm going to talk about the table of contents. This is summary of my speech. Firstly, I'm going to look at the warning about environmental pollution. Secondly, I'm going to look at the current serious plastic problem. Lastly, I'm going to tell you how to reduce this plastic problem. Do you know the book Silent Spring? <laughs> this book was written in 1962 by Dr. Carson. In this book, she learned the environmental pollution caused by the overuse of pesticides. After her warning, some people became interested in environmental pollution and they try to preserve the environment, but the majority of people keep developing the environment but for their convenience, rather than the environmental preservation. As a result, the various environmental problems such as
ozone layer destruction, natural disaster, and global warming have occurred. The most serious environmental problem in recent years is plastic. Humans dump 8 million tons of plastic into the ocean every year, creating the plastic islands in the ocean. But the microbes are emerging as a solution for this problem. A Japanese research team has discovered a microbe called Indionella sakaiensis that breaks down the plastic. <coughs> when they attach to the plastic, they produce an enzyme called pectase that breaks down the plastic. But they have a fatal problem. The problem is that the rate at which the enzyme is produced is very slow compared to plastic production, which is constantly thrown away. So I came up with a new solution for this problem. The solution is increase the micropopulation. When the microfertility increases, the micropopulation also increases. Microbes have a characteristic <coughs> that the propagation of microbes is promoted when the temperature rises within a specific temperature range. The temperature at which the microbes reproduce most actively is called the optimum temperature. Ultimately, if the population is increased by the studying the optimum temperature of Indian Lassacayensis, the plastic can be decomposed well. <coughs> and fundamentally, I want the people around the world to reduce their use of single use items, including the plastic. From the past, humans have indiscriminately harmed the natural environment of the Earth. Therefore, humans must take responsibility for what they have done. Humans must continue to pay attention to environmental pollution and solve it until the Earth is no longer sick. I, who dream of becoming a life science researcher in the future, also plan to explore the ways to reduce the environmental pollution caused over use of pesticides and uh, grow the organisms, such as microorganisms. Thank you for listening to my speech. Good morning everyone, let me briefly introduce myself. I'm Chang Won Jun from the Daewon High School, which has a lot of nice students. The presentation will focus on addressing our growing environmental concerns, pathways to sustainable solutions. Before beginning my presentation, this is my summary to help your understanding. Today, I'll tell you about an issue that has become increasingly urgent and cannot be ignored any longer in our environment. It is no secret that our planet is facing a multitude of environmental challenges from climate change and destruction of the forests to pollution and loss of biological diversity. These issues threaten not only the delicate balance of our ecosystems, but also the very well-being of current and future generations. However, amid these challenges, there exists a ray of hope, a pathway towards sustainable solution 
that can lead us to a healthier planet and advance, I say, the state of our environment. As we all know, the environments of distress are evident everywhere. Rising global temperatures are causing glaciers to melt, sea levels to rise, and extreme weather events to become more frequent and severe. The destruction of the forest is robbing us of crucial carbon sinks and biologically diverse, rich habitats. Pollution, whether it's in the form of air, water, or soil, with the process of making something dirty or toxic, poses direct threats to human health and ecosystems. The loss of biological diversity further disrupts the complicated web of life that sustains us all. We need to embrace sustainable solutions to address these real environmental issues. I'd like to talk about some urgent things we need to do now. Firstly, is renewable energy transition. One of the most impactful ways to fight climate change is through a shift towards renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, and water power. Investing in and encouraging these technologies will reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and significantly decrease greenhouse gas emissions. Secondly, a circular economy. Transitioning to the economy model, where the resources are used efficiently and waste is minimized, can reduce pollution and elevate the burden of our environment. This involves rethinking how we produce, consume, and dispose of goods. Last but not least, there is education and advocacy. Raising awareness about environmental issues and encouraging sustainable practices among individuals, communities, and businesses can lead to significant behavioral changes and create a culture of environmental stewardship. In conclusion, let me sum up my points. The environmental challenges we face demand immediate attention and action. However, rather than being overwhelmed, we should view these challenges as opportunities for innovation and collaboration. By embracing sustainable solutions, we can pave a way for a brighter and healthier future for ourselves and generations to come. It is a responsibility we, to, we owe to our planet, to each other, and to the diverse life forms that call the Earth their home. Let us work hand in hand across borders and boundaries to create a world where environmental harmony and human progress coexist. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much for paying attention. Hello everyone, I'm Kim Jong-wook from Class 1, Grade 1 at Daewon High School. I'm thrilled to be participating in the 2023 Daewon High School English Speaking Contest. Today, I'd like to talk about a topic that's very close to my heart, my dream. In today's world, we often hear lots of distressing news. It's been over a year since Russia and Ukraine became stuck in a war. People from both countries are facing the uncertain reality of a conflict that could end at any moment. Recently, as the conflict between Israel and Hamas has erupted, innocent victims have been created in the Gaza Strip. Rather than showing any signs of coming down, this conflict appears to be more expanding and deepening. Moreover, we are witnessing unusual climate changes affecting the entire globe. Natural disasters have led to countless lives lost in many countries. 
the issue of global warming is becoming more severe and unfortunately there is no guarantee it will improve. Some experts even argue that the chance to reverse the damage has already slipped away. Amidst these challenging times, many countries are more becoming divided and conflict ridden. South Korea is no exception. Conflicts can be easily found everywhere, including between social classes, rich and poor, men and women, and generations, etc. However, in spite of these challenges, I hold on to my dream. I have a dream. It's a society where people trust and cooperate to solve social issues. As we build this bridge of trust, we pave the way for a future where differences become strengths, not obstacles. However, as you know, this is not an easy task. It may not come true within my lifetime or even during the course of humanity. Yet, when I think about marathon runners, I find the inspiration. They do not solely focus on the finish line in front of them. Instead, they pour their effort into their each steps by driving a goal that represents a physical marker. I aspire to learn like them, to keep running towards my dream, even if the finish line isn't visible and I don't know when I cross it. So, I ask you to stay with me until the end, supporting me along the way. As I take the first step towards my dream, I'm reminded of the words of John F. Kennedy. Only those who dare to fail greatly can achieve greatly. Despite the uncertainty, I'm determined to embrace challenges. I'm committed to never giving up on my dream and I will continue this journey in silence. This journey won't be a sprint. There will be stumbles, moments of doubt, and even the tours that lead us off the beaten path. But just like the martial learners learn, learn from their stumbles and adjust their pace, we can learn from our mistakes pick ourselves up and keep moving forward so let's join this journey let's be the generation that chooses we over me the generation that paints the world with the vibrant colors of the cooperation and understanding remember it's not about reaching the finish line first but about reaching it together Together, we can be a society where the hope is the banner we carry and the trust is a track that leads us unity. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, I'm An Yu Oon, and today I will talk about my dream. And <clears throat> this is my summary. My dream is to become a person who can take care of people and help them. And my goal is to achieve this dream from my job as a doctor. <clears throat> In fact, after reading <clears throat> Zhang Gira's book before I became a high school student, I dreamed of becoming a doctor <clears throat> for a while because it was inspiring that he prioritized 
patience over himself. However, I discovered that the job of a doctor requires a lot of responsibility. And I eventually gave up on my dream <coughs> of becoming a doctor because I lacked the courage <coughs> at that time. Afterwards, while contemplating my dream, I watched a drama called Doctor Romantic and recommended <coughs> my dream of becoming a doctor. The drama revolves around the main character Kim Sabu and various other characters. Kim Sabu, the main character, is not only a doctor with excellent surgical skills, but also a doctor who values pa <coughs> the patient's life more than his one interest. I <coughs> Observing the main character, I considered him the most idol doctor in the world and simultaneously I aspired to be a doctor. I didn't fully grasp responsibility when I was young, but I realized it's wait during high school and my passion for of becoming a doctor <clears throat> as I attempt to the responsibility that troubled me in my youth. However, there were many aspects in which I felt inadequate for the role of a doctor. And after the first e final exam of the first semester, I felt disheartened. Contemplating whether <laughs> I should give up on my studies. At that point, my parents encouraged me never to give up on my <coughs> pursuit, so I decided not to easily abandon my dream. Of course, the journey is extremely challenging. I still vividly remember this commitment. The, I am striving to turn my wish into reality. I'm sure most of you have dreams and while some may be achievable with yes, others might be dauntingly difficult. Nonetheless, I believe we shouldn't abandon our dreams simply because they are challenging it's crucial to persevere try harder and i will persist to extremely challenging regardless of the dreams or goals you have i believe you can achieve them if you work hard without giving up. That concludes my prayer.
Hello, I am Shinya Park. Today, I will present action plans to overcome the current energy crisis. I think now is the time for everyone to have serious discussions about the environment. Nowadays, we continuously destroy the environment in order to exploit and make the most of our resources. Of course, there is no doubt that these are important resources for us now, but we are overusing those precious resources. Therefore, I chose this topic with the idea that we should use this experience as an opportunity to think about what kind of efforts we, sh we should make in our daily lives to overcome resource depletion. This is my summary. Currently, our main energy source is fossil fuel. However, fossil fuels will run out within 50 to 200 years. To solve this problem, we need to reduce the use of fossil fuels. So, we are working on converting to sustainable energy sources like solar power. This fuel depletion problem is exacerbated by people's excessive use of energy. For example, we leave the TV, TV on when we are not watching or keep the air conditioner running unnecessarily. The first method I suggest to be to reduce such energy usage is solar panel installation. When solar panels are installed on the roof or wall of a building, electricity is generated from sunlight, helping us use electricity, helping us use energy more efficiently by reducing energy consumption when we use electricity. The second is to limit the minimum cooling temperature. When we use air conditioners or heaters, we often operate them more than necessary. If these heating and cooling temperature, temperatures are limited to an appropriate level, fuel consumption can be reduced. In fact, according to the International Energy Agency, simple measures such as limiting the maximum cooling temperature to between 18 and 24 degrees can result in significant energy savings. The third is, is to the habit of turning the lights off. Sometimes we don't turn off the lights in our rooms when we are at home or when we go out. We overlook its impact to the extent that we don't even think how it affects the environment. However, contrary to our expectations, the act of not turning the lights off wastes more power than expected. In fact, other countries have announced countermeasures such as not turning the lights off for sculptures and making stores turn off their lights after 10 p.m. Next, the fourth is to unplugging unused electronics. We often We often unplug our homes It is said that if you develop the habit of unplugging unused electronics, you can save up to 10% of your home's total power, cons power consumption. Isn't it amazing how much energy we can save just by practicing this little habit? Through this research, I, I will try to become a person who saves energy in the future. Let's overcome the energy crisis together. For by putting in these efforts in our daily lives, our small efforts will go a long way towards saving energy. Thank you for listening to my action plans to overcome the current energy crisis. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Park Sejun, and today I'm going to give a presentation titled One and Only Earth. This is the three important things that I emphasize today. Environmental pollution is ongoing and unsolvable problem. But we just hold out, barely hold out the situation getting worse. Environmental protection and energy conservation are some of the means to slow deterioration. We're in danger. Environmental pollution eventually affects the climate. Global temperatures are rising. 
usable resources are disappearing and the forests are being destroyed. However, people are not aware of its seriousness. Describing one of them, people consider rising global temperature 0.5 to 2 degrees Celsius as just little change, but this is not a simple problem. In human's body, rising temperature only one temp only one degree we get sick, and Earth is the very same. Even if rising global temperature just a little bit, the, the damage that the Earth gets will be similar to the damage when we get fever. So, therefore, we have to slow deterioration. And how many ways to slow how many ways to save the earth do you know and do you practice it? There the ways that we're already knowing are using tumbler, recycling and turning up the lights and so on. So now I'm going to talk about the way we you maybe have hardly heard. First of all, email. Probably many of you don't know that email could greatly affect on the environment. Averagely, each email in your email box emits 4 grams of CO2. In developed countries, the average person who is sending and receiving emails emits more than 100 kilograms of CO2 per year. and which is equivalent to the amount of CO2 produced by driving 300 kilometers by car. And then, waste drop. Many people throw their remaining drugs into their bin. However, it can be a problem. Largely, it impacts not only environment, but also human health. When the drug is broken down, which causes water pollution, and plankton and water eat drug, and small fish eat them, and bigger fish eat them, and over and over, and finally people fish them, it's the same as the people those waste drug, and it may not be cool. So we have to take our remaining drugs to a pharmacy or a public health center. Finally, food problem. We have to think about low carbonated diets. Low carb diets is diets that minimizes carbon emissions all in all processes from food production to packaging, processing, transportation, cooking and disposal of food waste after eating. According to the FAO, food-related CO2 emissions account for 30% of total greenhouse gas emissions. So we have better buy food with low carbon certification mark. In closing, to save the Earth, our endeavor is essential. Just looking at this summer, maybe everyone felt the seriousness of climate change. So, save us, Earth, and save us. Thank you.
，好好。Hello everyone, my name is Do Yeonseo, and the topic of my presentation is about my dream. Are you a technology researcher, a hero who saves the world? The menu script summary is like this. The table of contents consists of three parts, biotechnology, my dream, and my learn model. First topic, what is the biotechnology? The definition of biotechnology is a field of study that investigates the principles of activities of living organisms and applies them beneficially to humans. Biotechnology contributes to society in various fields. First, gene therapy has revolutionized the medical field by improving the prevention and treatment of genetic diseases. Second, we can use genetic engineering technology to improve plant productivity and solve food shortages. Third, we can use biotechnology to develop new drugs and support the prevent of new prevention of diseases. First, DNA analysis, which is used to identify criminals. It plays an important role in criminal investigations and contributes to improving public safety. These examples demonstrate the positive impact of life science in different areas of society. Second topic, my dream. My dream is to become a biotechnology researcher. A biotechnology researcher is a profession that literally studies biotechnology, developing new drugs, and conducting many researches. I have been interested in our bodies since childhood. I wondered what would happen to our bodies while we were alive. While learning about the human body during science class, I began to develop an interest in life science and along with the desire to directly, directly study our bodies, I am dreaming of becoming a bio, biotechnology researcher. Today, there are many people suffering from incurable diseases that are difficult to treat with current medical technologies. My heart etched a lot as I read stories of incurable patients in various media. So I decided to become a researcher who studies incurable diseases and develops new drugs and technologies that can treat them. I want to be someone who works for someone else, because I think this is what biotechnology researchers should aspire to. Third topic, my role model. My role model is Dr. Yuen Han, who is the founder of the Yuan Corporation. During the period of Japanese occupation, Korea suffered from a shortage of medicines, so many people died of illness. Dr. Yu Min Han was shocked to see the poor health situation in Korea, so he abandoned the business he was originally doing in the United States and, up and returned to Korea. He thought that there was a limit to improving the health of the nation by relying only on the imported medicines. So he began to manufacture medicines directly. Concluding the present presentation, I would like to imitate the point that Dr. Nguyen Han made an effort for society rather than his own profit. Like him, who worked hard to popularize medicines, I will continue to study biotechnology for everyone. Thanks for listening.
2학년 8반 김태환 학생 발표하겠습니다. 
다음 발표자는 2학년 3반 김민석 학생입니다. 안녕하세요. 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 A least life due to the development of society. Or a life replaced by the development of artificial intelligence. Or a dystopian life caused by global warming. Whatever it is, we have to anticipate the near future. However, the future is uncertain. So, should we work this uncertain phase only by our judgment? I think it's not right, because we have the leader, and we all could be the leader. Yes. So, I conclude that the capabilities reader need to adapt to future changing society. Many people say they needed communication skills and job performance skills. Or how to be them to be the good leader. That's true, but I think this ability is really important for the good leader in future society, which is the ability to handle and understand the nature of risk. First of all, I think if society push profit in any way, it is a kind of enterprise. Because the four major elements of a company are capital, labor, land, and management. And for example, society is a well, country that has a capital called national power, labor called people, land called territory, and management called politics. They were all formed to push profit. Like company. So let me ask you a question. Do you think this company means loss? My answer is no. Risk is not just a loss, it is uncertainty. Risk is an imbalance between loss and profit. I think, do you know the word high risk, high villain, right? Yes. But you may not know the nature of this word. High risk, high villain means that high villain should be required when investing in high risk areas. If your best friend and I borrow money from you, your best friend's interest rate is going to be lower, but I'm going to be charged a higher interest rate than your friend. The same goes for society. When you invest in places where there is certain possibility, and where there are uncertainties, you need to demand high rhythm where uncertainty is. This is high rhythm, high risk, high risk, high rhythm. This is the nature of risk. Readers in future society must understand. So, how can we handle this risk better? I think, as the ability to be sensitive to change, the world is changing, even now. For domestic cash crops to domestic cash crops were machines, and simple machines were automated machines. And uh, soon, AI might take over our work. In this response to, in response to this change, a leader must be sensitive. In other words, a leader should recognize an issue that is also to others. 
as a matter of certainty. That's way to deal with risk. Investing faster and more back more uprightly. I believe we all could be the good leader in future society. Let's be the leader in future society. This is Kim Min So. Thanks. Hello, my name is Kim Jong Bi, and today I will talk about the problems related to global warming and problems and solutions to them. And this is my summary of my presentation. First, what is global warming? In Korean dictionary, it defines the global warming as the rise of the Earth's temperature. And, and then, should we, why should we be alert of rising global temperatures? If the temperature rises consistently, many problems arise such as melting glacier. And Many problems are already becoming a reality. For example, there was a first fire in Australia in 2019. It made a very big first fire. And the fire made a hail good size as golf ball. And the hail made a flood. As a result, the land larger than the land mass of Korea was burned down. And the property damage is estimated to be about 80 trillion won. However, these are not all the damage that the Australian bushfire has caused. The outbreak of a swarm of grasshoppers in Africa and the flu damage in East Asia were also caused by Australian bushfires. Such catastrophe should never happen again. Then, what can we do about it to prevent such happens? First, I'll tell you about the things that you can do on a personal level. You can turn off the lights or unplug outlets that are not in use. This is due to the standby power, which is to supply electricity to the main component in case the next power is turned on. Also, you can reduce the food amount in the refrigerator. This is because it takes less energy to maintain the proper temperature in when the food amount in the refrigerator is small. And you can reduce energy by using air conditioners and fans simultaneously so that fans can efficiently disperse air conditioner wind. Lastly, using products with high energy efficiency could be a good idea. Next, I'll tell you the soldier plan. The most urgent thing is the war last year. Methane gas was released from the Baltic gas pipeline. To my surprise, the estimated emission was 500,000 tons. This is not all. Most military weapons and equipment use fossil fuels, and the fuel efficiency is very low. This gives us more, uh, more reasons for us that the uh, war must end quickly. Furthermore, Many countries have to sign a climate agreement. By signing climate agreements, such as Kyoto Protocol and Paris Agreement, you can create coercion and get a sense of responsibility. This applies not only to 
the country, but also to enterprise. Businesses must also engage in carbon neutrality with environmental responsibility. At least, they should keep their plans. Today, we are trying to control the global warming. However, some are contaminating environments by throwing away trash carelessly, turning on the lights and going out, and not recycling properly. Like one bad apple spoils a bunch, one person, one person can make a big mistake. So, we should save energy in our daily lives. This is the, the end of presentation. Thank you. Good afternoon. As you can see in the monitor, I'm Lee Hyun Bro from second grade. And this would be my summary. When you think of great men in late Joseon Dynasty, you will probably think of people like An jung or Ryu Hwan Soon, who devoted themselves to achieving independence of our country. These people and their efforts are well known to many people to the present day. There are, however, some great men whose efforts and achievements are not well known to us. Today, I would like to talk about a foreign man who dedicated himself to educating students in Joseon and sacrificed his life to save Joseon's people. Henry Benzler, a Methodist missionary, came to Joseon in 1885 with his wife and other missionaries such as Mary Scranton and Horace Underwood. In October 1885, he established Cheongdong First Methodist Church, which martyr Ryu Kwan Soon attended. He also built a school where Korean students could learn many subjects, including English, Chinese, and math. I bet you'll feel familiar if you hear the name of the school. Peiji School, named by Emperor Gojo, was, in fact, a predecessor of the Peiji High School and Peiji University. Not only did he teach English to students there, but he also thought that it is important to enlighten the Korean public who are obsessed with Confucian ideas. So, he had educated the students who could commit to their society later. In 1902, he was going to Moko by ship to attend a conference. On his way, his ship Kumakawa Maru collided with another ship called Kisokawa Maru. However, he delayed to escape from the ship to save his assistant and a Korean female student. Eventually, he drowned with his assistant and a female student. Reading this story, I was deeply impressed by his commitment and sacrifice. He devoted himself to educating Korean students who had not even been able to receive proper education because of Japanese oppression. He also made a great effort to change the memorization-focused teaching method to the one focused on comprehension. To thank him for his contribution to improving Korean modern education, Emperor Gojong bestowed a mother of her black matter three-story word ruby upon a penciler which is now exhibited in a Penzler Noble Memorial Museum in Seoul. At an early age of 44, he sacrificed his life to save two Koreans. Unfortunately, his dead body is still not pulled up. And Mop Tom of Apenzler is located in Mapo, Seoul. 
In honor of his sacrifice, the Offensler Memorial Hall was built and run in Sunshine. Let's talk about the Peiji School. They produced many independent activists such as Ri Seungman, Kim so and Liu Eun-hyun. Learning about the Offensler, I felt great gratitude and respect for him. If I had been him, I would never have dared to sacrifice, sacrifice my life for someone from another country. As I dream of becoming a teacher, a counselor's contribution to Korean students and his spirit of sacrifice taught me a lesson. Today, I've talked about a counselor, an English teacher in Joseon, and a paragon of educator. And that's all I prepared. Thank you for listening.
여러분도 리더가 될수 있어요. 감사합니다. 아, 아, 그 2학년에서 다섯 번째로 발표한 김동이라고 하고요. 어, 안에서 괜찮았는데 나오니까 너무 떨리더라고요. 어, 좀 좋은 것도 있었지만 어, 아쉽고요. 그래서 네, 1학년들, 2학년들 발표 너무 잘한 것 같고 감기 있게 되었습니다. 아, 시험 끝나고 시간이 별로 없으셨을 텐데 이렇게 PPT 열심히 만들어주시고 이렇게 잘 외워서 이렇게 발표할 수 있다는 게 정말 대단한 것 같고요. 이번에 모두들 수고하셨던 것 같습니다. 정말 수고하셨습니다. 좋은 결과 있길 바래요. <웃음> 아, 잘 들었습니다. <웃음> 주제들 정말 유익했습니다. <웃음> 잘 들었고 열심히 준비하신 만큼 보상 받았으면 좋겠습니다. 영어를 못해서 내용이 있는 것 같지만 잘 들었습니다. 어쩌다 끌려가서 늦게 됐는데 
매년 실력이 혹시 더 늦는 것 같아요. 음. <웃음> 여러분이 역시 이제 외부의 글로벌적인 그런 감각이 많이 접해서 그런데 확실히 주제를 보면은 환경 쪽으로 많이 예, 선택을 한다 그러거든요. 사실 환경이나 뭐 에너지, 여러분의 꿈이라든가 역사, 역사 때 뭐, 이렇게, 뭐, 이런 관련은, 어, 특이한 것도 물론 있지만, 뭐, 그게 이제 시험, 여기 성적에는 반영은 안 됐습니다. 어, 이 추세를 말하고 있는 것 같아요. 여러 정말 수고했고, 그, 심사 기준은 궁금한가요? 아, 뭐, 내용, 아, 내용이 적절성, 그 다음에 발음 및 그런 유창성, 그 다음에 태도, 상호 반응, 그 다음에 정확성, 아, 문법이라든가 이런 정확성, 이런 걸 기술해서 어, 골고루 나눴습니다. 그렇기 때문에 지금 이제 성적은 거의 이제 나왔거든요. 아무튼. 음. 여러분이 상황이 올라가서도 이, 이 영어가 물론 이제 등급으로 바뀌었지만은 뭐 영어는 단순히 성적이 아닌 뭐야, 뭐야, 나중에 미래에 여러분들이 필수가 되고 있고, 그죠? 어, 영어 잘하는 사람이 굉장히 많아요. 어, 그런, 그런데 이렇게 진짜 어, 용감하게 자식에 나와가지고 말할 수 있는, 영어 말할 수 있는 사람은 그렇게 많지 않습니다. 자, 이렇게 되면 여러분 그 용기에 네, 굉장히 박수를 쳐주고 싶고요. 음, 나 많이 음, 어, SNS 유튜브 많이 보지만 네, 그런 쪽으로 유튜브 쪽으로도 어, 영어 관련해서 많이 관심을 네, 가져주기 바라겠습니다. 하여튼 수고했습니다. 네. 네. 그죠? 그러니까 참가자들 중에서 오늘 내가 뭐 얘기할 거야 라고 조목조목 조목 얘기를 하고 그 조목조목 조목 얘기한 그 요양문을 끝에 가서 다시 한번 때려주는 거예요. 끝에 가서 제대로 때려준 사람 있었어요. 분명 있었는데 아쉬운 거는 한글 요약본에서 끝났다는 거. 그거를 영문으로 싹 바꾸고 그 영문을 조금 더 조목조목 오늘 내가 이거 얘기할 건데 잘 들어줘 이런 식으로 얘기를 했으면 좀더 좋지 않았을까. 요 부분이 약간 아쉽습니다. 그래. 그죠? 그러니까 다들 약속한 것처럼 그렇게 한국 약관으로 딱 했더라고요. 근데, 예, 그 부분을 만약에 추가한다면 또 좋았을 것 같아요. 그리고 여러분들 저는 뭐 땅벌 잘안 먹고 매너를 봤어요. 매너 있는 사람. 여러분, 홍대문 가보면은 매너 있는 사람들이 써있죠? 어, 매너 S 붙여야 합니다. 매너스 예의봉절이에요. 그냥 S 빼고 매너스만 방식이 돼요. 근데, 처음 인사할 때 진짜 중요합니다. 헬로 e v e r y o 하면서 인사하는 거. 처음 인사가 진짜 거의 반 먹고 들어가는 건데 그 부분에 대해서 여러분들 작년보다 훨씬 더 나아진 것 같아요. 이제 끝부분에 뭐 땡큐로 끝나는 사람도 있었고 땡큐 퍼 리스닝도 듣더 라스도 이런 식으로 좀 길게 쓰는 사람도 있었는데 끝부분 인사도 중요합니다. 첫 인사가 중요하고요. 끝 인사도 중요하거든요. 저는 딴걸안 보고 말하기에서의 매너를 좀 많이 봤어요. 근데 여러분들이 작년보다 훨씬 더 많이 발전된 모습을 보여주어서 아, 굉장히 고맙게, 고맙게 생각을 합니다. 아, 아마 내년에는 
더 좋은 발표를 할수 있을 거라고 기대하겠습니다. 여러분 수고 많이 했습니다. 고맙습니다. 잠깐만 기다려주면 결과 발표할게요. 
화가 안 되고 이거에 그러면 수상자를 발표하겠습니다. 우리가 어, 1등 한 명, 2등 두 명, 3등 세 명, 그리고 어, 당겨상 한 명, 거기 일곱 명을 시상을 할 거예요. 열세 명다 너무 수고했는데 어, 시상은 일곱 명만 아쉽지만 먼저 그, 어, 장려상 그러니까 1, 2, 3등 그리고 장려상이에요. 장려상 장려상 박서준 지금 이 자리 없으니까 나중에 전달하겠습니다. 먼저 김동휘 3등 2학년 김민석 작년도 했었던 유병원장입니다. 아, 네. <웃음> 1학년들 내년에 더 나은 결과가 훨씬 더 잘할 거라고 생각해요. 기대하겠습니다. 수고하셨습니다. 그리고 다들 너무 수고했고 그리고 어, 연습할 때 보여준 모습보다 오늘 무대에서 보여준 모습들이 되게 더 놀라웠던 것 같아요. 그래서 저, 여러분 보면서 되게 즐겁고 기쁜 마음을 많이 들어요. 오늘 심사 수고해주신 두분 선생님 감사드리고요. 네, 지도교 선생님들 감사드리고. 네, 그, 네. 네. 우리는 심사만 했지만 저 지도해주신 네 분은 정말 수고했으니까 다시 한 번. 그리고 방송
송반 너무 고마워요. 네, 여러분 감사합니다. 발표한 친구들은 아직 우리 정리하면서 좀 전달한 것도 있고 하니까 가지 마시고 방청 왔던 학생들은 교실로 가셔도 됩니다.